Hey everybody, and it's your boy JB Proactive, a uh, reviewer and business consultant. And the people that don't know me, I am JB Proactive. So what I'm about to show y'all right now is the great one, the best achievements that I ever had starting YouTube all fresh back in, I want to say in 2019, basically before Rona. So what happened was I found a YouTuber that I like that I've been watching for like years, probably like three or four years uh, back to back. And what I did was I consulted Warheads, which is the company of Sour Patch, about Markiplier. And here it goes. This was back in September 6, 2019, as y'all can see right here. It says, also, I found a YouTuber named Markiplier who loves taste testing sour things. So he do a taste tester for y'all new products y'all make too. He states... He likes sour candy in this video in part 5 minutes and 30 seconds in the video. So if you go to the video, we're going to go to the video now. Then this is the video that I referred uh, Warheads to, which is the owner of Sour Patch. So basically in this video, Sour Patch creates ice cream. And he's going to state that he loves sour things or, you know, and tasting them. So I'm going to show y'all real quick that is tried and true and I like sour things sour things are my favorite candy I said that it was my favorite candy in the last video and therefore I can't be lying about it in this video my ice cream is completely melted by so y'all heard him say it I'm gonna show y'all in the video the date of when it was made or when he made it that video that y'all see was August 7 2019 so he made it before then, but I brought it up to Warheads. So now what y'all about to see is another video where they actually delivered him a gift of Sour Patch Things. Watch this and watch this closely. This video right here that y'all looking at was February 14, 2020, where he states that Sour Patch Kid, Sour Patch Kids sent me a personalized gift box. Year later. Let's check it out. Where Sour Patch himself decided to send me a present from me. From I introduced Warheads to Markiplier. They didn't recognize you. I'm just saying, I did that to kindness. So, because I was a major fan. And also, I wanted to see if it would work. And it did. Oh! Y'all got to clap that up. Let's go. Business consultant, let's do it. Him. That's how presents work. Well, 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 how the mighty have fallen. Sorry, Mr. Patch. Looks like I am the winner after all, even though you sent this to me. Not sponsored, you know, which would have been a better present. Oh, unless inside this box is a contract for a sponsorship with Sour Patch, which would be just delightful and well-deserved. But how am I going to open this? Whoa, woe is me. What tool could I possibly use to open this box? Oh, bequeath me upon a tool with which to, uh, fucking Shakespeare language, um, open it. Oh, fuck. Let's open the box. Jesus. He's gonna get the tool out and open it. It's been used by me to shovel, among other things. Get wide for this. What if it's fragile? Is it fragile? I don't know. Is there a real Sour Patch child in here? <laughs> Fine. If they didn't... In it's just so crazy. ...tend for me to open this via... Jesus. Click off on the inside.
there's a letter. <clears throat> I'm assuming this is a transfer of ownership for the corporation of Sour Patch to me. Wow, look at you. You're a chosen one. A chosen one? Not the chosen one. This is too, too funny. Just say a chosen one. A diamond in the rough. Rough. A cream in our crop. Okay, that last one was a little weird, we know. Not only do you get the Curry 7 Sour Patch Kids colorways, the coolest candy-inspired shoes on the planet, you also get a whole two pounds of Sour Patch Kids candy, the coolest two pounds of candy on the planet. Custom mix is now available on the new SourPatchKids.com hashtag ad. Just, you know, share the love. Two pounds certainly wasn't meant to be eaten all by yourself. As excited as you are and inclined as you may be to share your thoughts with your friends and followers, we need to remind you that federal law requires you to be transparent about the fact that we gave it to you. So if you do post something about something we sent you, just let them know that it was a gift from your friends at Sour Patch Kids and Under Armour. By saying something like Sour Patch Kids and Under Armour just gave me... Let me get this straight, Sour Patch. You sent me a brand deal without the pay. You gave me all the obligations of making a video curtailed to sell your product without anything for me. Oh, question. Question in the audience. Yes. That's how PR works. Right. So PR hinges on the fact that I actually give a shit about what you're sending me. Okay. Time out. Time out. First of all, they recognize you because... I sent him your video <laughs> and explained that you like tasting sour stuff. So you got to be appreciated about that. So I'm just like, dude, come on. It's not like your whole channel is all about tasting sour stuff. Damn! You might have maybe, I would say nine videos. There's other YouTubers that literally dedicate all their, their whole channel to sour things. That's a different, you know what I'm saying? That's a different uh, projective, you know? You just tried some of their products. You didn't dedicate your whole channel to just tasting sour stuff or to their products. If, if you did, then they would pay you. But it's a blessing for them to even give you gifts of their products just for free. I'm just saying. We're knee deep into it. They asked for this. They asked for they this. Didn't ask for anything. They asked for this. They asked they for said this. If. They said they asked for this. All right, Sour Patch, Mr. Patch, how are the kids? Because I'm gonna do a real nice review of what this box is all about. That's what I do. I want to be very clear. I am not a Sour Patch review channel. I am the Sour Patch review channel. So when you come. His head got a little bit big. He's not the Sour Patch because he doesn't taste all their products. Like I was saying, it'd be different if he did. Knocking on my door, bearing gifts. They better be the best damn gifts I've ever eaten in my life. And I've been disappointed before, Mr. Patch. But let's see, let's see. Okay, all right, okay, what do we have, what do we have? Oh, yeah, Sour Patch kids. Wonderful. Regular name brand Sour Patch Kids. Nothing special about these. They're a little bigger than your average kid, but uh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, I gotta say. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, more, more. Not even boxed up. A lot of wasted plastic, you know. Individually wrapping is not really good for the environment. Just saying. Uh, what else we got here? Ooh, it's Markiplier's Mix. Sour Patch Kids, Markiplier's mix. I don't play basketball, but that's okay. Not really my mix if you don't understand what I do in my spare time, is it, Mr. Patch? That's all right, let's see what's in here. <coughs> I'll break you and my bare fingies. I'm going to destroy you. I'm surprised the box doesn't say a Markiplier's mix, but whatever. Just any old Markiplier, they're all the same, right? Ooh!
Why is it red and green? I like the blue the best. Whatever. All right. Okay. I think the reason I did red and green because I guess green is their basic color, but red is like his hair. So they thought, you know, that that was his favorite flavor. Um, whoever was on the marketing team and researching his video probably didn't know that his favorite color was blue raspberry or blue. So it's just a minor issue, though. But, I mean, they gave you candy and they recognized you and they gave you a letter. That's what really matters the most. Because it's hard to get sponsorship and ownership. I am not going to lie. It is hard. And then for you not to be ungrateful. Woo. That just. That really like was like to me just disrespectful. Like dude. They recognize you because I sent a video to them. They wouldn't even recognize you if I didn't say your name to them. Period. Damn son. Back to the video though. So now I have two pounds of Sour Patch Kids. You gotta review it, right? You're right, you're right, you're right. I do have to review it. You're right. Nope. Okay, all right. So they mix, they, they, nope. obviously, obviously, the team at Sour Patch Kids would have done extensive, extensive research, tremendous amounts of research to understand my tastes, my desires. They would know what I would like. They know I like a challenge, you know? They got me. Ah! All right, first off, uh, the bag. There were two rips on both sides, both ripped up. Okay, first strike. And number two, the rip doesn't even go below the seal. If you look at that, that would have ripped just straight across on the seal, and then I'd be running into the same problem I am right now. So I got to knock off points. This mix, yeah. I'm not very considerate of people that aren't as strong-willed as I am. All right. <laughs> Smells like candy. Looks like a lot of coating on that one. I don't like that. Mm. Honestly, it's kind of bland. I'm not even saying this just as a bit. Like, I've been into that, and usually it's like, I don't taste any sour. Okay, that one I taste sour. Okay, so it's uh, neither of the flavors that are my favorite, unfortunately, but it's fine. Could use some more sour, though. Luckily, my lovely and beautiful girlfriend, Amy, she... Enables. Enable is the word you're looking for. I enable you. Is enabling me to reach my dreams. <laughs> this is funny. Of sour. Waste not, want not, right? I've got this lovely plastic here. So this is citric acid. Uh, and citric acid is basically, it's, it's what's in like lemons and stuff, uh, but this is probably made synthetically. I think it's also literally vitamin C. I'm not 100% sure about that. Let's add some sour to this. Let's see. A sour patch punch. Listen, if you want Mark Boyer's mix, all you gotta do is sprinkle a little extra scissors in there. Grab one of these bad boys, lick them up. You know what I'll do? It. I'll lick these. I'll dump citric acid in here. I'll send it back to you guys for research. You take that back to the lab. You learn to recreate that. Mm. Huh. Huh. I give this bag like a two out of ten um, for two flavors, both of which I don't like. <sighs> I'm Nikki Haas, and I partnered with Arm & Hammer Baking Soda. Did you know that you can do hundreds of STEM experiments using Arm & That's you, too. That is good stuff. Ever heard rumors of this mythical curry? Popular in India, my mom used to make good curry, you know. Still does. So, I don't know if these are like shoes you can eat or whatever. What? What's the problem? 
Look, I'm not a man known for taste, but these are literally a walking nightmare. I can't even look at that, it hurts my eyes. Do they even know enough about me to get my size right? That's the question. They look like a nice soft green on camera. On camera, it it's looks a like nice a nice color on camera. I bet this shit glows in the dark. Yeah, they are my size, so they did they did do good enough for that. But I would never wear these, ever, unless it was a costume for a character, and it doesn't even smell like curry. I gotta wear them, I guess. Also, I prefer to wear shoes without laces because more comfortable and easy. But whatever, laces are cool. Uh, <laughs> One. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Okay. What if it's like a curse and they're attached to your feet forever? It's like the mask of shoes. Okay. All right. There they are. I uh, put them on. I don't think I'll ever be able to take them off. I think my feet have swollen to fill inside them. I, I mean, as far as like comfort level goes, I much prefer, as I said before, I much prefer shoes without legs. But hey, if I ever wanted the people in the International Space Station to know where I am, I just put these bad boys on. It's like I'm there. Oh boy. Okay, so this is what Sarpet sent me. I just need to see if these are the only color. Shoes with these, what are these, curry seven? Seven curries? It's like a name of an Indian restaurant or something. So it comes in two colors for Sour Patch. It comes in insulting green, and then my favorite color, red. Tama, Tama. Didn't he just say that his favorite color was red? That's why they sent you the red and green Sour Patch because your favorite color is red. They didn't know that your favorite flavor was blue. I don't even know if you stated it in your videos. How are they supposed to know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I was saying, I just, I just felt like you were just disrespecting them. This is... Like, they sent you gifts, free gifts, from their products and company. They didn't have to, my brother. Like, they didn't. I'm just saying. Be grateful. There's some YouTubers that ain't got nothing. Like, psh, ain't got no sponsorship or nothing. But it would be nice, you know? I'm not going to be like this. Like, oh, you got it wrong. Like, well, they probably don't know. I didn't do enough research. Be grateful. Anyway. Let's continue. I'm going to show you the last video of the Sour Patch Kids when they sent him some more stuff that was beyond me. Watch. Welcome to the grand finale of the Sour Patch Saga. The war between me and Mr. Patch himself. I am falling. <laughs> They, Mr. Patch, and all of his underlings, his or her, I'm no judge, have deemed me worthy of their time and attention, and they have sent me a personalized box. They recognize that I am the Sour Patch Review channel, and now I get a bigger box full of presents and goodies. I honestly have no idea what's in here. But if I had to imagine, it's a lifetime supply of Sour Patch Kids in my favorite flavor. It's 12 new pairs of shoes, all in my favorite colors. And Which is what? Red. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to sit down. This is big. A box of this magnitude requires a precision tool. I don't know what's unscrewing him. <clears throat> Requires a precision tool. Please be a knife. 
Please, 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 a knife. Hey! You have like a home invader and you're like, please. <laughs> you shovel out and you're like, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And he's like, oh, oh. bottle opener. <laughs> hey, how'd you know I got a bottle of wines here? Hey, that's where I die. No, you should trust me with a knife. Oh, except I'm an expert. I'm an expert is what I said as a kid right before I always hurt myself. Before I stuck my hand in a bee bush, a bush full of bees, we didn't have you know, games to play. We, we played with the bee bush as a kid. I said to my brother, I'm an expert. Did you think you were an expert? Well, I thought if I said that, it might have some effect. And then I stuck my hand in the bush. I don't know, confidence has gotten you a long way. <laughs> That's what it is, right? That's, it's just confidence. Anyway, I'm an expert. Bam. So I don't know what particular order it's going to be in. It's just like a box, so... Oh my god. It's just open. <laughs> is this supposed to be open? Oh my god, it's a sealed bag. And they use blue as packing peanuts. That is my favorite flavor! I mean, I'm not gonna touch a single goddamn one of these. No way in hell. I'm never gonna eat these. All right, hang on. Can you smell the sour patch in the air? It's a letter. I have not read this letter. I have not seen a single thing in here. I'm ready for an apology. So if y'all can see, hold on, let me show y'all real quick. As y'all can see, the last one was February 5th, 2020. That was kind of like the beginning of coronavirus. And now this one's on April 18th, 2020, during the coronavirus. Just letting y'all know. So now let's get back to the video. Sorry if it's like slow and stuff. I don't know what's going on. I think the frame's trying to catch up or something like that. Apology, a certificate of transfer of ownership of the company into my name. Three new products, all Markiplier themed. And then a giant sour patch with a big pink mustache at the bottom of this letter. All right, Mark. Great start. They got my name in there. Didn't like our first box. Thought it wasn't special enough. They're right so far. Not custom enough to your precious taste right once again. Let's try again, shall we? Didn't like the plastic wrapping on our individually wrapped Sour Patch Kids? Gone. Thank you. Wanted blue instead of our Curry 7 inspired green and pink pack? Blue it is. Thank you. We even threw in a Funko Pop because we know how much you love dolls. Mwah ha 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 ha. Oh yes, we're sour. We are the Sour Patch Kids after. Are they mad at me? However, you know us, we're sour than sweet. So once you make it through the sour, there's a pretty sweet surprise waiting, there, there's a bomb. Whatever's at the bottom of this box is going to kill me. Enjoy, signed Mr. Patch. Well, not signed, it's just typed. P.S. We have to say it because you know the feds. If you do post about what we sent you, please let the good people know that it was a gift from your friends at Sour Patch Kids by saying something like, Sour Patch Kids just gave me Everyone knows. Who doesn't get what's going on here? Who do you think sent me this? You think my mom wrote this letter or orchestrated this whole thing just to make it look like I'm conversing with the Sour Patch Kids company, which would be a great bit, mom. But I think people know. I, I think people know. I think it's more of an insult to all the other influencers who don't do that. <laughs> So what do their fans think? Do they think this just showed up at their door? That somehow they magically went to a store and got specific red and pink or whatever, pink and green? It looks... <laughs> I just want to hold it. Okay, anyway. Sour Patch Kids, uh, hashtag ad? It's, but it's not though. I'm not, I'm not getting any money for it. I'm not being paid for this in any way, shape or form. New Five Nights at Freddy's merch. Cloakbrand.com. You can't see it. Cl <laughs> <laughs>
Bye, Bowser and Freddy. All right, so let's uh, let's start to dive in. First off. <laughs> I, I'm so happy. <laughs> this already makes it better. I know that there's like sarcasm is dripping out of this box. Sarcasm is rain. Thank you, Warheads and Sour Patch. Give them a, that deserves a round of applause. That's awesome. Appreciate it. In out of the box. However, this actually makes me happy here. This is very nice. I am super about this. I am not super about this. Especially nowadays. Especially nowadays. And I will wash my hands before I consume anything in this box. This is okay. That's not okay. And there's a, a Funko Pop. You do love those. That's awesome. I will, I will love yeah, that. Yeah, I am a collectibles kind of guy. Everyone knows this. Unless there was one of me, and then suddenly I would love them. I mean, still love them. Awesome. So until that day comes, I will stick to uh, the truth, which is that I love them. All right, what else is here? There's a giant, it's a, it's a big, oh. it, it's, it's really in here. What the hell? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is my icon made out of Sour Patch Kids. It smells so sugary. I can... Round of applause. That's... That is amazing. There's no telling how much time it took and the artists and the people from South Patch. Y'all need to clap that up for them for real. That's what's up. Smell like the candy wafting off. The eyes are a little scary. Okay, now actually, oh wait, no, the eyes are up here. I thought this was just like a hollowed out eye. No, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know what those are made out of. Legitimately, this all Sour Patch Kids. I don't know what, if these are still, because I don't think they have a purple. And they definitely don't have a white. No, those are Sour Patch Kids. Oh, those are Sour Patch Kids that were cut in half and placed sideways. It's all Sour Patch Kids. That's actually really cool. Yeah. That is sweet. <laughs> I get it. That's really nice. That's so crazy. It's dripping sugar everywhere, but... That's really cool. That's impressive. That's that's awesome. Should be Damn. thankful. For real. That's pretty cool. You know, that honestly, that's really nice. Thank you, Mr. Patch. I consider our feud settled. And as a last moat. Y'all heard that. He said the feud was settled. So it's it's done. All right. I'm just saying. Of good faith between us, I should, it's like a bag of cocaine. I gotta, I will try the bag of blue. Cause at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. And until the Sour Patch cream cheese comes out, which apparently is a thing that's happening. Literally, there's, they tweeted about it. This is what it's all about, mm -hmm. the candy. All this crap is about the candy. Let's see if it's sweet. Anyway. good the flavor is great i love blue raspberry it's not a real flavor it's very artificial but i don't care i love it okay. however mr patch you just made me break my fast i am doing intermittent fasting i can't eat for another four hours and you just forced me to ruin all the progress i had in intermittent fasting how dare you 
That's your fault. Sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're delicious. Moral of the story is, if you yell at someone long enough, they'll send you a gift. That's false. Because I introduced Markiplier to Warhedge, which is part of Sour Patch. So that is wrong. Just because you yelling doesn't mean they don't recognize you. Somebody has to be a business consultant. Somebody has to be your manager or something like that to show them or your market manager or whatever to show you. And like I said, I did that in the kindness of my heart. I'm glad it turned out all right. He said some hurtful words to him. Um, he forgave him, as he said, or so to be. We'll see. But yeah, that's why I wanted to show y'all. I literally introduced Market Pyre to Sour Patch. Sour Patch took notice of that and gave him gifts, which I felt like he was ungrateful because of what he stated and what he said and his behavior. So, you know, fuck this though. You know, you're being very sour, and then he just said, "Forget that," and they just bought that. That could have been like a thirty or forty dollar uh a toy or something like that. Pop kid is not cheap. It is not. Everybody know that, especially when you go into GameStop to buy them. They're like thirty four ninety nine, forty nine ninety nine, or something like that. But like I was saying before, it's your boy JB Proactive. Stay tuned for more. I told y'all, got some high quality content. It's coming. Stay tuned for more. I am out. Deuces. And if you ain't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Twitter and Instagram. Enjoy this video after this.